Greetings everyone, my name is Meem and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Show Your Work by Austin Cleo, one of the most influential books in case you have got an interest in creativity, personal growth or business. Now, I really like Austin Cleo's books because his books have a very unique structure. They are very thin in size but always contain vital messages. Besides, they have these bite-sized lessons with beautiful illustrations, stories and examples. Um, you will get, uh, you know, sketches and charts in between the stories and lessons. So the thing is, you will never get bored by reading his books. You will enjoy the whole time. You will spend with the book. Anyway, now just to give you some idea, this book sheds a light on the importance of internet and how we can use it in the right way to showcase our work so that people can take advantage of our work and at the same time we can make a living of it. It introduces you to 10 excellent ideas that you can implement to showcase your work and get discovered. However, uh, right now it is not possible for me to squeeze all the 10 ideas into this one video. So what I will do is I will try to share some of my uh, my favorite ideas that uh, resonated the most with me. So let's not hamper any more time and get into today's video. So the first thing I found highly effective in this book is the lesson that you don't need to be a genius. Now this lesson inspires one to be an amateur. You don't need to be an expert or professional to flourish on social media. You can simply be an amateur and build your audience. Now whenever we think of starting something new, Many of us have this kind of feelings that I'm not proficient enough, people are going to judge me or how people will take me and lots of negative thoughts roam in our mind. But Cleon advises us to not to get scared by the idea of sharing something which is not good enough because everyone at the beginning level of their journey most of the time makes mediocre content. However, with time and effort, the quality improves, you know, one grows more followers and eventually it becomes a full-time job, you know. Therefore, at the beginning level of your journey, you don't need to be an expert, be an amateur because when you do something being an amateur, you are not afraid of making mistakes or looking ridiculous in public. It's just simply you are in love with your work and don't care what others will think of you. So simply just share what you love and it will help you to connect with the people who have the same interest as you have. Number two, share something small every day. Now this point emphasizes to focus on days and making the most of it because decades, years, months, these are human made terms and at the same time they are long term goals. But day has its own rhyme, you know, like the sun goes up and the sun goes down. So it is short term and one can easily handle that. So what Austin Plum suggests is that if you want to grow in social media, you will need to focus on days and post something every day because it gives people a feeling that you exist, that you are doing your work properly. So it is necessary to know consistently to post bites and pieces of your work, what you are learning, your ideas. Uh, it generates more interest in your work and also over time, this uh, regular post can turn into something massive. And number three, Teach what you know. Now, when you learn something, you make it a part of you. However, when you share it with others, you make it a part of everyone else out there. Besides, when you allocate your knowledge with more people, you receive an education back. It brings more clarity in your concern. If I give you my very own example, then there are times when I read a book, but I don't understand most of it, or let's say 40 to 50 percent of its concepts uh, remain obscure to me. But the moment I try to make a review of it, it often happens that many of the obscure ideas start to make sense to me. Many of the hazy ideas get clear to me. So the thing is, sharing knowledge with others has immense benefit. It makes you able to discover new things. It helps you to meet with people related to your field. Therefore, whenever you learn something, try to share it with others so that people feel closer to your work and at the same time you can make benefit from it. So I'm going to end it here and I hope you found this video useful. Now show your work has been an absolute effective read for me because um, I'm the kind of one you know who have interest in personal growth. I like to share with others what I learn, what I love but sad to say I'm very bad at self promotion. Before reading this book I did have this particular belief that if you are good at something, if you are proficient in your work, people will reach you automatically. I kind of hate the very idea of self-promotion you know 
but now I realize that I was not right because it is not enough to be good only in order to be found. You need to be findable. You need to make ways so that people can find you, so that people can reach you. So yeah, I got some valuable advices from this book and make sure you also give this book a try because it is not only about self-promotion but also there are some other lessons that can help you in other aspects in your life. So yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you very soon in another video. Until then, 